we're going up the weights to 57. Mali against India. Marine Camera hoping to make history for her country against Jasmine Lamboria. India winning the quota earlier in Ring B, courtesy of Commonwealth Games champion Amit Pangal. That was at 51 kilograms in the men's competition. Jasmine trying to join her. Sixty different NOCs now with boxers at Paris after Pila Kaiva Oja in our first bout for Finland made it through. Clash between two southpaws, both leading with the right leg and the right hand. It's good from Lamboria there. She wants to be well, the leading lady behind that, she's cutting off that jab, just making sure to block it, just to give camera different angles and not using much energy either. So good conservative work from the fighter in blue. Yeah, we saw from camera yesterday against Elise Glynn that kind of up and down with the feet and with the body, not staying in the same place for too long. So Jasmine choosing to go to the body Exactly that, that's the safest target and she goes for it again there. Rory just picks it off to the solar plexus. Zero fun taking jabs there. That draws a response there from Marine Camera. Lands a right to the body herself. They start to engage a little more in the centre of the ring. A nice little pivot there from Lamboria. Of course, two having the in and out style. Camera a little bit more up and down with that. They're both happy to pick their shots and get back out again, but the little bit of subtlety of movement from Jasmine Lamboria. What economy of movement, nice little double salvo from her. Minute to go in round one. There's not been much in it, but Jasmine impressing with her speed off the mark. Both landing. Right lead jabs. Jasmine, good head movement to avoid that right from camera. The camera just struggling for range at the moment. The back foot boxing of Jasmine Lamboria, very good now. She's really got that range going and she needs to impress down the stretch because you would venture that this is close, but. Decent little combination to close things out there from the Indian fighter in blue. Yeah, despite the up and down kind of head movement from camera, Jasmine seems to have picked it and she's timing that jab to land on the chin of the Malian woman. Good first round, especially if you're in the blue corner. Yeah, definitely. Her shoulders were down. She was nice and relaxed. She grew into that round and let's see if she gets her reward. And she certainly does. 10 to 9 across the board. The Jasmine Lamboria, 22 years old, against Camera, who is 29. Yeah, Marine Camera, she's very tense. She's, she's thrown arm punches. She's not given herself a chance to fully extend. But as you see, Jasmine Lamboria, the shoulders are down. She's loose. She's getting the full range of motion with her shots, which gives her a little bit more safety as well. So sometimes it can come down to just that bit of composure, mastering the occasion. But unsurprisingly, camera out like a flash. Yep, she needs to win this second round if she goes two points down. She doesn't really have anywhere to go in round three. So it's imperative for her to put pressure on the Indian in this second round. She's tracking her, but Jasmine, she's good on the back foot, lands that jab once more. That little pivot as well there, just, as you say, good back foot boxing, but changing the angles like so, in and under and spinning round. Jasmine Lamboria, again, more relaxed and then better on her feet as well. Just saw a little look from camera to her corner. I think she's feeling the frustration because she can't get her work done. 
Jaismin is doing a really good job on the back foot and getting through with that jab. It's difficult for Marine Camera because she likes to go in and out. She's not adept or used to having to cut off the ring, and that's what she needs to do. She needs to try and force Lamboria into the corner and then catch her. But you look at the, the lovely balletic movement of the boxer in blue. Perfect. Yeah, timed that shot wonderfully well. Sent Camera's head reeling back. Camera almost chasing shadows at the moment as Lamboria's movement is just so slick. Counter from Jaismin. A couple of shots did land from Camera, but she's having so much trouble just pinning Jaismin down. Jasmine Lamboria, very adept at moving, hitting on the move as well. And camera's chasing her all over there. And credit to her, she's been non-stop movement, but she's leading with the punches rather than with the feet. And though therefore falling short just a little bit. By way of contrast, Rory, the Indian boxer looking really calm now. Yeah, you mentioned the tension in the shoulders and the effort that Camera is having to put in, Jaismin looks far more relaxed. So once we get to the latter stages, you'd think Camera's stamina might be tested quite severely. That was better from the Malian. Two, three punch combination, but back comes Jaismin. 10 seconds to go in round two. It's another good round for the woman in blue. Yeah, one of the most impressive rounds we've seen. Jasmine Lamboria, punch perfect. Again, 10 nines across the board. So Camera is right up against it. She's two points down on all five scorecards going into the third and final round. And you can see the toll that her exertions are taking on her. Looks very tired in that corner and probably a bit deflated. Like you said before, when you're throwing punches and they're not landing, really hurts. Going against your own style, very difficult. Lamboria, the only thing, the only note of caution for her, and I'm sure she'll do it, is to keep that jab working because she doesn't want to go too defensive too soon. Last thing that she wants is a, a photo finish against camera. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing what you're saying. She's on the back foot, but she is flicking out that jab. And, and it, at times it's not even designed to be a scoring punch. It's almost just designed to show the judges and the referee, look, I am working. Exactly. It's a, it's a time filler and also a space filler just to buy yourself that bit of distance. She won't be able to do it for the entirety, but she's managed it almost for this first minute of the last round and anything that Camera might have had has been subdued now by this excellent rangefinder. Yeah. That was a, a really a more solid jab from Jasmine. Hit the target just a few seconds ago and you can see Camera she's trying to come forward. We're already close to the midway point of round three and she hasn't made any inroads at all yet. It's the boxing road to Paris, but those inroads, as you say, have been blocked, and that's why. Perfect one, two, right down the middle. Jasmine Lamboria turning on the style in this one. Yeah, this has been a bit of a clinic from the Indian boxer. And Marine Camera, she's shown she's a very good boxer in her own right. Good win yesterday over Elise Glynn, but Jasmine has had all the answers here. Great back foot boxing and again that movement catching the eye. Camera unable to cut down the ring and get to her. Yes, exactly that. It's the control of the environment, the understanding of space and distance and the understanding that these skills are going to push her towards that Paris quota spot. She's earned it as Jasmine Lamboria. Efri had a little look there for holding on the inside, but of course, Jasmine, too good and too slick. Absolutely. She's been a class above 
Maureen Camera, who continues to come forward. She's game and determined. She knows that Paris is one win away, but time against her, 20 seconds remaining. She's got to find a knockout blow from somewhere, but she's not getting close enough, and that's been the story of the contest. Yeah, she's followed her round the ring. She's been followed by the cameras in the ring. I'm sure now that she's going to win, Jasmine Lamboria will be followed by the cameras outside the ring as well because she's landed a big blow there and a big win for India. Superb performance from Jasmine Lamboria. As you said, too slick, too good. That's just your commentary I was talking about. <laughs> no, that was a really good... Excellent. ...demonstration of back foot boxing using the jab to great effect. We said it ran in the family, her great-grandfather, two-time Asian Games gold medalist, and Jasmine looks like she's on her way to Paris 2024 as Marine Camera makes her way to the middle of the ring for the announcement. And not only that, I think all of that hard dieting was worth it. Ladies and gentlemen. Dropped the kilos, but picked up the win. In the blue corner, representing India, Jasmine, Jasmine. Nod of the head of acknowledgement from Marine Camera and resignation as well. But hats off to Jasmine Lamboria. A superb performance. She has been excellent all the way through, through, as you said. You know, she's had to cut the kilos, coming down from 60 to 57. And it's paid dividends. She reclaims the quota spot for Team India. Second win of the day for the team after Amit Pangal in the men's 51 kilograms. He won his quota bout. Two for the day for Team India. And that makes it six in total. Six Indian boxers who have won quota spots for Paris 2024.